worship to thee. Praise the Lord, who is worthy of praise, the Lord being faithful and mighty in all his power, our Father and our God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We bless the name of the Lord Jesus, who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly more than we ask or imagine. Welcome to the night watch, and this night is a special one, because it's a night of deliverance. Our theme tonight is Guide to Deliverance. Guide to Deliverance. Please write it somewhere. It's Guide to Deliverance. And I'm going to be very specific and, uh, and uh, go, I'll go a bit slow. But I'm going to give you, guide you to deliverance. And I'm telling you for tonight is your final day, night of deliverance, total deliverance. Because what I'm giving you, if you apply it, if you walk by it, not only will you be delivered, but the glory of the Lord shall rest upon you. So invite a friend, share, like, and contribute to this, uh, me this uh, meeting in the mighty name of Jesus. I uh, thank you so much. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe so that you can be notified every time we come live. There's a grace when you watch live and share as many people as possible to get this information in the mighty name of Jesus. The guide I'm going to give you, I've tried it has worked in my life. You all know, most of you know my story. 24 years of my life from the time I was born until I was 24, I've been sold out to witchcraft. And when I came to Jesus Christ, I went through days and days and years seeking deliverance. One of the things that came out when I was sick, when I came to Christ and two years down the road, almost the third year, I was found with leukemia. And I was sick, I was cancer, with cancer, and I was sick for one year, dying. And Jesus appeared to me, and he healed me, and I've been cancer-free now, for now almost 20 years. So I thank the Lord for who healed me, but that, that doesn't mean I was delivered. You know, one of the things that stood out one time, that uh, I didn't know that how to deal, to help myself, and no one was willing to help me. And what caused me to seek deliverance, though I was born again, this is very important, what caused me to seek deliverance, though I was born again, I could see that the enemy still had access to me. The enemy still had access to my life. And I was wondering, but the Bible says different. How comes that uh, these things still happen? I didn't understand legal rights. I didn't understand gates. I didn't understand how covenants work according to the principles of the kingdom of God. You know, in the kingdom of darkness, the enemy tells two things, but he does not teach you why. He does not give you principles. He just tells you sacrifice, do this. He doesn't teach you principles. That's why some people want the things of the devil because they seem to be so easy. He doesn't demand anything from you. But Jesus demands you to know the truth, to love the truth. And the truth is what sets you free. Many people have still have that mentality and that mindset to go to a man and deliver them and things are okay. They don't want to learn principles. But as I always say, deliverance is not an event. Deliverance is a process. And it's a discipleship process from glory to glory. The veil must be removed. And that veil is what the Lord wants to remove tonight. So I believe there are people that have been saying, Pastor James, what I have done all, how can I be totally free that I may serve the Lord? This is your night. Maybe you have a dear one, a son, a daughter, a spouse, a friend, who is tormented and disturbed by demons, evil spirits, infirmities, disorders, calamities, afflictions. Bring them tonight because it's going to be a moment of miracles, a moment of signs and wonders. And I'm waiting for you to wake up people and say, come be live. Uh, Pastor James is live. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you all my, my intercessors and all the men and women that are praying for me, the daughters of Zion that surround us in prayer, my sons and my daughters that have paid a price to pray for me every day, my inner circle, thank you, God bless you, my dear wife, Pastor Juliet, my number one inner sister who has laid down her life for my ministry to pray and fast every day. Thank you, honey. God bless you so much. And I know if it were not your prayer and your intercession, maybe you need to teach some women, some ladies, how to align their husbands into the purpose of God. Because I've seen you do this in my life. I want to bless you. My wife, my children, my sons, my pastors, thank you so much for the journey we are walking in the name of Jesus. So I believe you are inviting people. You are bringing them. You are uh, sharing because this is like a class, but it's going to be powerful. It's going to be unique in our approach in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. It's going to be different because I see the finger of God tonight to deliver. And we have come to the mountain where we can be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. So uh, I believe this is a moment that you don't want to miss and you don't want it to be those no more common, ordinary events, but at moment where the Lord is going to set you free completely. We are looking at guide to deliverance. And uh, there are things, you know, when you look at, uh, uh, the, if you have got this book, this book in uh, Delivered from Deep Darkness, I don't know if you have it, Delivered from Deep Darkness, and you've got it as a, you got a copy, and uh, I don't know if, if you can read it, Deliverance from dark, Deep Darkness. You can find it on Amazon. And uh, the last, I'd say, there's a brief deliverance prayer guide. So I call it guide deliverance. And I, I mention, I don't give steps, I give points. And many of the things, many of the reasons why many people are not delivered, they do not have targeted prayers. The only thing they have, it is steps. But steps are okay, but there are times when you need targeted prayers. And that's what I, I want to offer you today targeted prayer, specific prayer points. You know, one of the things that I discovered that brought me to deliverance, it is submitting to an authority to pray for me, but also uh, I learned something very important about short strategic prayers, not long. Sometimes our prayers are too wide but not focused. Too wide in words, too wide in, in, in hours, but lack power. I want to teach you something today that will, that brings power in your prayer, that brings power in your words, that causes you to speak power words and preach power words. Don't pray words, pray power words. Learn to pray power words. Even when the enemy has come like a flood, the Lord will lift a standard because life and death is in the power of the tongue. So learn to pray power words. Learn to worship power words. Learn to release power words. Learn to preach power words. Seek the power, the, the power in the word. That's why this guide to deliveries is very important in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I know you already. You're inviting a friend. You're sharing. Let me know where you are uh, watching from. Let me know what the Lord is doing in your life. Let me know. What if you have a question, a prayer request, feel free to f send me that request. Feel, feel, feel free to write to me. My email is on the screen. My number is, I'm giving it freely. I'm giving it to you tonight because I feel there's time for men and women to be set free in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Thank you, Jesus, for this moment. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. And thank you for the anointing. Thank you, Father, for the spirit, for the grace. Lord, I secure this space in the name of Jesus. I secure this space. Let the angel of the living God secure right now this space. O oh, King of glory, Lord of lords, and God of all creation, let your name be glorified. I speak the name of Jesus in this territory. I shift the atmosphere. I declare holiness. I declare righteousness. I declare the fear of God. I declare the love of God. I declare the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare the reign, the, the kingdom of God. Reign, O God Almighty. Reign in this moment. Glory and honor and power 
Wisdom, wealth, and praise are all yours. Father God, we praise your holy name for your mighty and your good, wonderful in your doing. Be exalted, mighty God. Be glorified, God of all glory, King of heaven, might and power. Thy name is holy. You, holy to be praised, King of glory. We worship you. We honor you. Me. We glorify you for you are good, for you are mighty, for you are loving. There is no God but you. Blessed are you, O King of glory. We bless you. We worship you. Hallelujah. Rika Rababa Korea. Masada Roko Shikaya. Rika Zika Raba Koshiria. Masada Dakaria. Mandi Didi Shika Tabur Korea. Riko Shika Taya. Masele Karabakoya. Rideka Tabro Koshiria. Masada Roko Shikata. Bro Shika La Babadia. Liketa Roko Tabrodia. Maradosha Dadadia. Rika Sadabo Shikata. Blessed are you, King of glory. Mighty are you, our Father and God. Glorious are you in power. We submit ourselves to your will, Lord. We secure the gates, the doors. We open the portals. Let the highway of the Lord be established. I declare holiness. I declare peace. I declare mercy. I declare favor in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. O Lord God, exalt your name, my Father and my God. Show yourself mighty in the name of Jesus. For we lift you, Father God. And as we lift the name of your Son, Yeshua, O oh Lord, draw many to yourself. Draw many to the place of healing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we remove obstacles and barriers. We declare that the Lord reigns. We submit ourselves to the Lord, the King of glory, the Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Father God, your name is holy. Your name is mighty. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Son of the living God the King of glory, for we love you, for we bless you, for we worship you. You are holy, you are mighty, you are loving, you are faithful, you are great, you are awesome, my Lord and my God, my Lord and my God, my Lord and my God, the Lord 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 my peace, the Lord my shelter, the Lord my shield, <clears throat> the Lord God, we bless you, Father God. There is no one like you. Thy name, O Lord. Thy name, O King of glory. Thy name, O Father. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the King of glory. Hallelujah to the Lord who reigns, O Father God. Thank you, Lord God. We secure this space, Lord. We secure this space in the blood of Jesus. We close the gates. We secure the walls. In the mad name of Jesus, let your name be exalted and let your word come in power. The Lord God Almighty, Sharada Ukosia, Madeke Tebrada, Roda Katabruda, Jika Tabrokoya, Rike de Gedea, Masarado Kota, Brako Shikataya, Zika Takura, Rie Salada, Kasha Katabrudo, Rata Katabrudia, Makataradia, Riko Tabrudia, Rike Sara, in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. Father God, we thank you for the move of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the power to deliver. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your fire. We thank you for the angels. And oh, Lord God Almighty, you've purposed to be here. I thank you for their marriages. I thank you for their children. I thank you for their work. I thank you for their restoration. Oh God, behold, you are doing a new thing. In the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Amen and amen. Shalom. <clears throat> I hope you, I know you are already here. I know you're here. I know you are here already. The Lord is destined to do mighty things. Write it somewhere. Guide to deliverance. Guide to deliverance. Write it somewhere. And we'll go right now. Quickly, quickly. I'm going to just give you a few, a few things and then we will proceed in, in giving you declarations. It's not the words I speak. But it's the anointing that will release you from the boundages. The Bible says in the book of Job chapter 36. Job chapter 36. And I'm reading from verse 5. Job chapter 36 verse 5. Right somewhere. Because I'm so excited what God is about to do tonight. Wow. Bring somebody online. Call a friend. You know, I'm, I see many of you who you've been. You, what you want, what you, you needed is uh, deliverance. 
Complete deliverance to start your ministry. Complete liberty to start your ministry. To start your business. There's a lot at stake. There are masses waiting for you. You know, your son has a great destiny. Like me. That's why the enemy has brought all his weapons to, bound, to bind him. But the Lord is saying, it's time your son to be free. It's time Esther to be free. It's time God set your son free and your daughter free. In the name of Jesus. It's time to be free from initiations and occultism. In the name of Jesus. I am telling you, tonight is a moment of deliverance. If you know someone who has been in the occult, if you know someone who has been in witchcraft, if you know someone who has been bound, initiated, bring them here. Tell them to come and watch. Share this video with them because it's going to help them very much. It's going to help them to be free from iniquity in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. Chapter 5 of uh, chapter 5 of the book of Job. Chapter 5, the book of Job. Sorry, chapter 36 and verse 5. In the name of Jesus. Chapter 36. And praise the Lord. It says, Behold, 36 5, Behold, God is Almighty. God is, behold, God is Almighty. Now, please note that. God is Almighty. He does not despise any. God is Almighty. He does not despise any. He is mighty in strength of understanding. God is mighty and does not despise any. He is mighty in strength of understanding. He does not keep the wicked alive, but gives the afflicted their right. Someone say, my right. God gives him my right. He does not withdraw his eyes from the righteous, but with the kings on the throne, he sets them forever, and they are exalted. They are exalted. And if, look at that, and if they are bound in chains, if they are bound in chains, and caught in the codes of affliction. Then he declares to them their work and their transgressions that they are behaving arrogantly. He opens their ears to, inst to instruction and he commands that they return from iniquity. Command that they return from iniquity iniquity. I hear that? In other words, he's saying the cause of being bound, they went into iniquity. They went into iniquity. That's the cause. The cause of their being bound, they went into iniquity. And he says, he opened their ears and command them that they return from iniquity. Somebody write it there, iniquity. Iniquity. And I want you to go straight away in the book of Leviticus. Chapter 26. Verse 40. But if they confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers in their treasury that they committed against me and also in walking contrary to me, so that I walk contrary to them and brought them into the land of their enemies. If then, if then their uncircumcised heart is humbled and they make mends for their iniquity, they make mends for their iniquity, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob and I remember my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham, and I remember the land. And I'll remember the land. 
if you return to Job 36, he says, verse 11, if they listen and serve him, verse 11, Job 36, verse 11, if they listen and serve him, they complete their days in prosperity. Somebody say amen. If they listen and serve him, they complete their days in prosperity and their years in pleasantness. If they listen and serve him, they complete their days in prosperity and their years in pleasantness. Can you imagine? If they are bound, the thing I wanted to ask yourself, maybe you have this book, Power Prayer for Victory. <clears throat> My book, Power Prayer for Victory. I don't know if you can see it there on your screen. Uh -huh, Power Prayer for Victory. There, if you go to go page 19 and 18, where I talk, I ask some questions. I want to ask you these questions. Because if before you go for treatment, you need the right uh, diagnosis. Number one, do you notice chains of misfortune in your life? Number two, do you see extreme profitless hard labor? Number three, do you see failure at the edge of breakthrough? Are you constantly harassed by witchcraft powers? Are you harassed by spit husbands and spit wives? Do you experience failure in your business? Has your promotion been stolen? Are you seeing turbulences in your marriage constant? Have you discovered that anywhere you go, your presence brings hatred? Do you notice that you go to wrong churches? Do you have terrible unexplained fear? Do you always get attracted to evil personalities? Do you have severe health problems? Do you desire to always do good and you end up doing wrong? Are you seeing many wasted lives in your family? Are there patterns that are evident that evil is tormenting you? Are you tormented? Is your destiny blocked? Are your children taken away from you? Are you working on another and take the excited the reward? Are you rewarded for your labor? If that is the case, let's walk the journey of consecration deliveries. And what delivers you is the glory anointing. Read it somewhere. What, bound, what binds you is not demons. It's iniquity. Demons execute acts of, of iniquity. And what delivers you completely is the glory anointing. The anointing that flows from the realms of glory. That's why the Bible says in the book of uh, my Bible tells me if you open with me Second Second Timothy Second Timothy chapter two Second Timothy chapter two verse nineteen. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. But God's firm foundation stands, bearing this seal. The Lord knows those who are his. And let everyone who names the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. Let everyone who names the name of the Lord Depart from iniquity. Someone say, I depart from iniquity. Where the 
the presence of iniquity is the presence of bondage. Iniquity is the atmosphere where demons operate. If you're a minister of God and you're going to minister deliverance, there must be no attachment of iniquity in you and in those around you. Many, are, many people are bound because they are living in the iniquity of the land or the iniquity of the people around them. Or like, like Lottie, the iniquity, the sin of the people around him. He lost everything to the extent of committing immorality with the children because of the iniquity of the territory. The, 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 the sin of the territory. You know, the, the, born, the people are bound because of the sin of the area, the sin of the city, the sin of the country, which is so, so huge, so thick, that they cannot see deliverance. What will you do to bring the glory of God in your family? What, will it, what is necessary to bring uh, the glory of God? Before I go into the steps, the young lady who led me to Christ taught me something. I've told you the story of that encounter. She didn't say a word to preach to me. She didn't preach any word. She stood and I looked at her and flashes of lightning were coming from her eyes. And that day I got born again. But as I walked with her, I kept wondering what is the mystery of her power. I had fought many other churches and men of God, women of God. But this little girl possessed unique power to the extent by the that a time came when we in her fellowship, most of us were former witches she had captured and brought in the fellowship and discipled. Other men now are their pastors. I was talking to one of them today and was at who was who watched my testimony and said, James, I wish I can testify how that girl, how she was called Margaret, how Margaret trained us and laid a foundation for us to come from witchcraft, from sorcery, to what we've become. Over 10, over 12, most of us have become pastors, apostles, former witches. 24, I remember 24 and more. She was not a pastor. She was not a preacher. She was not, she was just a believer who understood her place in the spirit and practiced that. And she could walk from her room. And I remember the times she could tell us when we were in the room interceding for 24 hours. And she tells us, stay here, I'm coming. She goes out on the mission God has given her. Within hours, she returns with a witch she has captured. The same way she captured me. I bring that witch in the, in the hall, in the, in the place of prayer. And then begin the discipleship. She didn't blow her trumpet. She didn't even announce what she was doing. And no one even around in the church circle knew what she was doing. She was just a student, a medical student, who understood. She had an encounter with Yeshua when she was 14. And, the encounter, and the Yeshua told her what she told us. No man can claim to have taught me what I teach or what I've become, except that young lady. The few years she walked with me, just two years, Two years she walked with me and others. This was the, her secret. And I want to share it tonight in the deliverance journey. It may be the first time I'm sharing it. But he listened. This was a 19 year old. And all the, of 20 former witches and strong ones, not these little ones. She had this kind of authority over us. This kind of grace and this kind of glory. Glory without exaltation, glory without pride, the deeper glory. 
a deeper sense of intimacy with God. Oh, haradika shika tabroa. A deeper sense of knowing who she is before God. The kind of authority. Ya tabro shiri. And I believe, you know, many of you talk about these other women that were doing covenant prayer, the pastor, who I defeated. But no one turned us and said, tell me about that lady. I want to be like her. I want to be like that everywhere I stand, the glory is seen. I want to enter places and witches are trapped. I desire to, you know, friends, the church, Christianity without this glory is a shame. It's so tiring. I've been thinking today about uh, Margaret. We, we used to call her mom, our mom. Mom Margaret. She was younger than us. I was 24, she was 19. The rest were all over. But we called her mama, our mother. Because of the kind of grace. She did not just preach to us. She demonstrated to all of us, former witches, the glory, what it means to walk in glory. What it means to keep the step of Yeshua. To follow his steps. She told us the thing, what I'm teaching you right now, lawlessness and iniquity. What it is and how to deal with it. The two years, she gave me a foundation. Unfortunately, I did follow her instructions so well that when she went to be with the Lord after her assignment, I threw out what she had taught, tried to seek my own way, and I went through all these 10 years seeing deliverance until I returned to the truth. So that's what I want to share with you tonight. Praise the Lord. Are you inviting a friend? Are you sharing? Kindly please subscribe to our channel and let other people have the opportunity to hear this message. Guide to deliverance. Guide to deliverance. Remember, I've laid the, found the introduction. Where there is, what binds people is iniquity, depending on which measure of iniquity. What delivers people is glory which come from the true anointing. So the glory produces the anointing that wipe away the curses. The glory produces an anointing that casts out demons, that destroys yokes. Because anointing is authority that opens doors. Authority in the realm of the spirit. Authority in the realms. Understanding all the dimensions of the realms of God. The glory that brings that anointing. You know, many of you, many of us, we've had a ministry for years without the glory. We've had a marriage without the glory. You've had a church without the glory. You've had, you went to school, graduated, but there's no glory. Ichabod. The glory left. Somebody said, I need the glory. I'm de I just, deliverance should not be the end of of your walk with God. Deliverance, you to be delivered is a sign that the glory has appeared. One of the signs that the glory of the Lord is, is present is people delivered from yokes, bondages, sickness, infirmities, and rejoicing. When Philip went to one city, the city of Samaria, preached the gospel, miracles happened. And the Bible says, and there was joy in the city. Not joy in the church, not joy in the heart, but there was joy in the city because of the miracles. And what was that? The anointing. And the anointing comes from what? From the glory. The glory. You know, the anointing flows. A product of the glory of God. And Jesus, that's why he said, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because he's anointed me. What is the glory? Let me say this. One of the things that will, will change your life is divine intelligence is a sense that develops in a man when he tests glory. Divine intelligence is a sense that develops in a man when he contacts glory. When the glory contacts you, there is a sense that develops in you called divine intelligence. 
Because by, when you are in the realm of glory, what is, what is available to you is the, spirit, the seven spirits of God, which is the foundation of divine intelligence. Divine intelligence. A sense that develops because of your contact. Because glory has contacted you. You have contacted the glory, a piece of glory. And now an intelligence, a sense, a good sense to understand and respond to the things of God. That's divine intelligence. To understand and rightly respond to the things of God. That's divine intelligence. And that develops only when you have had touch, contact with glory. In the seven spirits of the Lord opens up one by one, seal by seal, layer by layer, rem by rem. And as you navigate these realms, the glory increases and the anointing increases. Then liberty and deliverance come. Do not look at demons as the reason of your bondage. Look at the issue I'm talking about, iniquity that hinders glory. It is iniquity that delays glory. It's iniquity that the Lord says he paid a price and you are called to deal with iniquity and root it out. And cast it out by the authority, by the confession I'm going to give you tonight. I'm going to give you 40 prayer points. 40 prayer points. Yes. I'm not going to say pray, 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 the fire is here. I'm going to give you 40 prayer points. You can take them, you can leave them. Most of them, you know them. But you've never known that these prayer points do not remove demons. They remove every element of iniquity. And the glory is revealed unto you. The glory. The glory. That's what I'm talking about. The glory anointing. Divine intelligence comes from the contact with glory. But remember, glory is a substance of holiness and purity. The Lord cannot share his glory with anyone. In other words, you, you, must, you must come to a place where you touch glory. Glory begin to transform you. The more you go into glory, the more you pursue glory. The, because the Lord is saying, arise and shine. Come on. I love that. Arise and shine for the glory of the Lord. That's our theme for this year as a ministry. Arise and shine. The glory of the Lord shine upon you. Someone say, arise and shine. I will arise and shine. Why? The glory of the Lord. Arise, shine for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth and thick darkness the people. But the Lord will rise upon you and his glory will be seen upon you. And all the nations shall come to your light. That is Isaiah 60 from verse 1. Okay. Friends, I've told you, what brings bondage is the presence of iniquity. Conscious and conscious. What brings, delivers you from iniquity is what? Is the glory. But let me say something. The presence of iniquity causes the enemy to bring evil initiations on your life. There are many people whose issue is conscious, known, unconscious, and unknown initiations. People do not know that every time you're going sin, it's an initiation. Every time you go in sin, the Bible says, who sins of the devil. When you committed adultery, when you committed fornication, when you committed abortion, it was not just a sin. You initiated your soul. When a man raped you, the rapist and the one raped, they have been all initiated. The rapist is initiating the, rape, the one being raped. Some of our relatives, the things they did to us, they were not just out of lust. They were intentional to initiate us and exchange our destinies. I know somebody watching right now, maybe a friend initiated you into something, 
by introducing it to pornography. Maybe someone initiated you by introducing it to drinking. How did you begin drinking? It was an initiation, a spiritual event. How were you initiated? Maybe a, a false prophet. The things you are giving, the cows, the goats, the money, they were initiations. Some of the ceremonies they made us perform when we joined schools, like school culture, tradition of schools, we are all initiations. Some of you, when you're joining high school, they, every school has a tradition. There's something you do as new students. And do you know the speed behind? Initiation. I went to a high school. And this is a Christian high school. A boys Christian high school. But most of the boys were initiated in the spirit of homosexuality. And they became that. I remember there was this kind of dormitory who were no, they're known for the boys that were doing that. Those who went to my, that school, it's a religious school. If you're watching, you know what I'm talking about. I'll not mention the school. But what I'm talking about, there is an issue Tonight, what God has got to deal with, initiations. That's where the guide to deliverance, the first stage, is this one. The undoing initiations. Many initiated by husbands. Wives initiating husbands. Husbands initiating wives. Parents initiating children. Children initiating siblings and friends. So you, when they told you that you, to get power, to get wisdom, do this for your children. That was an initiation. It's a trade. Initiation means a trade sold out to the power that be. Sold out. You did know, Mama, that the, that act you are selling out when you went to a witch. You did know that the prisons you see right now in your life and in your children, it was because their father initiated them. And you know how you entered in relationship with him. It was not your will. Like a spell was upon you and this man took you because he used witchcraft to capture your soul and marry you. And now your children are prisoners. So if they took in your cult, if you went to witchcraft, if you went to these clubs, secret studies, if your parent was a member of a lodge with a degree in different things, in this deep order, the order of this, the order of this, a high level, a high level, in the, in high level on those altars of the masons. There are chances that him being to that degree, your father initiated you. There are chances that your mother, as she went to witchcraft, she also initiated you. There are chances that your father, when he went for a strange woman, she, he also sold his children. And all this is the mess of iniquity. Were you initiated into something by a friend at school? Are you keeping it a secret that someone could take you and do rituals on you in the night? Were you taken to the graves? Were you taken to the forests? What was done to you by your parent as a protection? Did they cut your body? All that is initiation. And gives right to the enemy. Many of you, the time said, Pastor, they've laid hands on me. It's not about laying hands on you. It's about a man of God, a woman of God, who walks in the glory of God, who is able to undo the initiation. It's like a lock, like a seal, a ring on your life. That's why the spirit husbands and the demon to torment you. That's why this headache has not left you. That's why the addiction has not left our lives because of the claim of the enemy upon our lives. We being initiated into evil. And so the Bible tells us, departing from iniquity, what, does it, what do you do to charge your spirit to break free from iniquity? And then you touch glory. You're running away from iniquity and you're touching glory. Praise God. What a great day. Are you ready now? Have you got your friends? Have you got your book? Are you ready to pray? Get out of your bed. Stand out. Get out where you stand. Because this is key. As I speak, I see the angels positioning themselves. I see the watchers and the warriors. 
I see the glory here. Because the Lord is saying enough is enough. My daughter, my son has to be free. In the name of Jesus. Listen. The girl I told you, Margaret. What she taught me as a foundation was a life of honest repentance. She could say, James, without repentance, you can be free. And repentance meaning turning away from iniquity. Repent. Pastor James, what do I do to be delivered? Repent. What can I do to be free from this torment? Repent. Repent the iniquity. Ask the Lord to pardon the iniquity. Confess. Confess iniquity. Confess iniquity. Confess iniquity. It's time for confession. It's time repentance to be the major act of the church. Let these two things remain in your life as you walk in power. Worship and repentance. Worship in spirit and truth. And repentance. Humble yourself. Break before. If we are to see the glory, the church must return to the place of repentance. The lifestyle of repentance. Every day. Every second of your life. Every moment of your life, you must walk in repentance. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Search me, O oh God. Cleanse me, O oh God. Wash me, O oh God. That's your prayer. Not bless me. He bless you. But a prayer of cleansing. And listen to what I, I, told, I tell you. What delivers, what opens you to the glory to bring complete deliverance is the spirit of repentance. Your church, when you lost the repentance, you lost the glory. Brother, when you lost the repentance and you began, you began preaching sermons you hear from there and there, you lost the glory. You lost the place. The glory left. When repentance is not in the marriage, you just have people living together, sharing a bed, but without the glory. Why? No repentance. No repentance. Repent. The glory of the Lord to return. There are many people today who are like the, in the Bible have the, the, these guys, the sons of Sceva. Remember them? In the book of Acts chapter 19. Who tried to cast out demons and demons stripped them because they didn't have the glory. And many of us, we need to repent of the sin of the sons of Sceva because we tried to do deliverance without the glory and demons have stripped us, taken our children, taking our marriages, taking our businesses. We went for warfare and we were defeated because of iniquity, because of this without glory. What? Live a life of repentance. Let evil be evil. God will not compromise his standard. You want God to bless fornication? You want God to bless adultery? Come on. You want the power of God to be in a vessel that is full of bitterness and anger and unforgiveness? You know, most of the people we walked even in open witchcraft, but in rebellion. So we are moving city to city looking for a man to deliver us, but we don't want to repent. We don't want to go into hours and hours of confession. Confess that in details. Pray detail. Confess detail. Don't say, Lord, all sins. Oh, Lord, all failures. No. Tell the Lord, search me. Convict me, Lord. I turn away from iniquity. I remove, I remove away from the things that hinder the glory. Because I am a vessel of your power. In the name of Jesus. So, listen carefully. Repent. When someone comes to you with a demon... In your heart, repent. When your son is initiated, repent. You know, to repentance, let me use the word which I know if it's in English. Like, de initiate people. I don't know if it's an English word. It, you know, it under, to undo initiations, someone must repent. Either you or for you. 
Either someone stand in a gap and ask the Lord, say, let this cleanse, I consecrate myself for James. I consecrate myself. You know, there are times I'm praying for people who are deep in the occult and they come for deliverance. Some of them fear even to come to church and they call me to their place and say, James, come and help me. I sold my soul. I sold my soul. I have this dead body in my house, but I, you know, they told me to wash it every day. So come and help me. How do I get out of it? And when I go to them, the first thing I say is, Father, I consecrate myself. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Wash me. Forgive me. Me, not them. Before I confront the evil ones, before I command the demons, I must be in the right place with God. I consecrate myself. I repent. Father, help me walk in consecration. So, repentance. Repent, brother. Pastor, repent. Keep repenting until you make it to heaven. Keep repenting until you can stand in glory. If you don't see the glory in your life, repent. Pastor, I don't see power. Repent. Pastor, I don't see money. Repent. Pastor, why have I prayed and I have no job? Repent. Oh, pastor, no man comes to marry me. Repent. Oh, pastor, why the ministry is not growing? Repent. Consecrate yourself. Someone say repent. Oh, I've been praying for this and it has not happened. God, don't repent in repentance. Don't put your faith in me. Don't put your faith in a man. Repent. Ask the Lord and say, Lord, here I am. I repent. I confess my sin. The sin of my mother. The sin of my mother's mother. The sin of my father. The sin of my father's mother. The sin of my father's father. Father, have mercy. The iniquity of my people. Pardon it. Let me tell you right now, husband and wife, give the next two nights for repentance. See what will happen to your son. He will just wake up from deep sleep, like from deep darkness. Repentance. One day Margaret told me, said, James, do you know how long I kept repenting for your life until the Lord told me, to come and, and preach to you. I didn't say, she said no. She said from the time she came in first year and, my, and she knew who I am, she began repenting for three years for me. And toward the third year, third year, the Lord spoke to her and said, go now, appear to him. You have done enough repentance. You have cleared the iniquity in his bloodline. You possess authority over him. When you go before him, my glory will appear. And that happened. That's how I got born again. Can I ask something? Is there someone you've said, I will adopt this person in my spirit to repent, confess, and pray until they have seen the glory? Until the Lord says, now you qualify. Go and appear. Have you ever prayed for someone for one year every day? He said, I'm going to pray for this person. One year every day. Coming before the Lord. Confess. So all the things I was doing those three years, whatever I was doing the other side, she was confessing and repenting that I didn't know until she brought me to the Lord. Humble yourself, man of God. The ministry is not growing. The marriage is breaking. Don't accuse your wife. Repent. Don't accuse your husband. Don't blame anyone. It's you who needs to repent. It's not your husband. It's not your wife. It's not your pastor. It's not the people that have hurt you. It's you who needs to repent and turn away from that evil. You may not be practicing evil, but you may be bound by that evil because you are still attached to it. Look at the community. Who is repenting? Who is turning to God and saying, Lord, Look at the prostitutes. Look at the drunkards. Look at the immorality. Look at the bloodshed. Look at the abortion. Lord, have mercy. The enemy every day is receiving sacrifices through abortion. Who has, 
who is repairing to the measure of the abortion in the nation, in the family? You know, are people killed? Our families murdered whole villages. Her father's robbed. And all that is still evidence in the realm of the spirit that in the moment of deliverance, you clear away. You clear away the iniquity. You clear away the baggage. And then you tap to glory. Clear away the baggage and tap into glory. What a moment now. Tell your sister, let's confess. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Let's confess this sin in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm going to mention these prayers and I want to write them one by one in intelligence. Each prayer point is at stake. And pray these prayer points for at least seven nights and see what will happen. Write them down, share with somebody. It's divine release in the name of Jesus. I release you right now. Sound prayer, cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover, pray three times, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Write it somewhere. All eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, I command you to stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. No. You all eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, I command to stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. You eaters of flesh, any good thing which you've eaten in my life, I command you to vomit it in the name of Jesus. I'm guiding to deliverance. So I'm starting with the eaters. Number four, Holy Spirit, go on my behalf to the evil demonic bank. Retrieve any of my property which is held up there in the name of Jesus. My possession, depart from the bank of the devil and come to me in the name of Jesus. You eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, I command you, flee by fire. Eaters of flesh, flee by fire. Number seven, anything which enemies from my place of birth have destroyed in my life, Father Lord, Replace them in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. I will not supply ammunition to my enemies in the name of Jesus. Every power speaking impossibilities into my life fall down and die in the name of Jesus. I shall laugh last over my enemies in the name of Jesus. Every power Constructing coffin against me. Enter into your coffin in the name of Jesus. Every power of the empty in my household fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every spirit of backwardness, I tramp upon you, your serpent and scorpions. In the name of Jesus, I unseat all evil powers sitting on my promotion. In the name of Jesus, Kazara do shikaya, liketa do jadeka, rikobo shakata dia, lirika darosh, marado shara dia, rika tabro shara, rikete kata, rado shara, let the angel of God recover you. I bind every spirit of bondage fashioned against me in the name of Jesus. Someone say, I bind every spirit of bondage fashioned against me in the name of Jesus. I unseat all evil powers sitting on my promotions in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of bondage in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of slumber in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of paralysis in the name of Jesus. 
I bind every spirit of death and hell in the name of Jesus. Break every unprofitable covenant from age one to your present age. I break any curse brought upon me by my, any past generation in the name of Jesus. I bind and paralyze the spirit and activity of the Westerns in my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and paralyze the spirit of the Western, the spirit and activities of the Westerns in the name of Jesus. I bind and paralyze the spirit and activities of the devourers in my life in the name of Jesus. I bind devourers. I bind the spirit of and activity of wasters. I bind wasters. I bind wasters. I bind the spirit of heaviness. I bind the spirit of death. I bind the spirit of paralysis. I bind the spirit of slumber. I bind the spirit of slumber. I bind the spirit and activity of devourers. In the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit and activity of the empty air. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I bulldoze my way into my breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bulldoze my way. I render all evil attacks against my life impotent sevenfold in the name of Jesus. I render all evil attacks against my life impotent in the name of Jesus. Let every evil maintenance officer assigned against my life receive spiritual paralysis in the mighty name of Jesus. I revoke every satanic decree upon my life. I revoke every satanic decree upon my life. I revoke every satanic decree upon my life. I revoke every satanic decree upon my family. I revoke every satanic decree upon my name. I revoke every satanic decree upon my prosperity. In the name of Jesus, somebody revoke. I revoke every satanic decree upon my life. I revoke every satanic decree upon my family. I revoke every satanic decree upon my marriage, upon my children, upon my spouse, upon my ministry, upon the title that God has given me. I revoke the decree of Satan in the mighty name of Jesus. I silence all evil utterances against my life. I silence all evil utterances against my son. I silence all evil utterances against my daughter. Oh Lord, arise and bring final solution to all my stubborn situations. I shall laugh last over my enemies. Father Lord, grant me wisdom to avoid the snares set for me by the enemy. Let the angel of the living God arrest all satanic forces mandated to ensnare me in the name of Jesus. Let all my enemies fall into their own traps in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of wastage in the mighty name of Jesus. I tramp upon every serpent and scorpions of my advancement and promotion in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. That is phase number one. Now, this is the phase of confession. The phase of renouncing. You think you're going to renounce. If you've been initiated into the occult, by into witchcraft, pray and say, I renounce all my rebellions, sins, transgressions, and iniquities. I renounce devil worship, satanism, and occultism. I renounce sorcery, magic, spell casting, and enchantments. I renounce robbery, murder, human sacrifices, and bloodshed. Somebody, where you reach right now, there's a manifestation right now. You are free now. Something is leaving your body right now. Someone say, I renounce drug abuse, drunkenness, poisoning, and gluttony. In the name of Jesus, it's gone. I renounce prostitution, halotry, homosexuality, Lesbianism, pedophilia, bestility, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I renounce astral travels, projections, evil perceptions, and I give up all my codes and notes. I give up all the codes and the notes. I renounce the third eye, the power spirit, 
the guardian spirit and the master of souls. Yes, I renounce all the esoteric knowledge, dream manipulation techniques, vibration en enhancements, energy codes, and transcendent meditation guides. I renounce them. I renounce membership in all covens, secret societies, international networks, loyalties, and alumni. I renounce blood vows, sexual vows, family vows, vows with death, vows with guardians and masters. I retrieve my soul from all covenants and evil custodianships. I renounce all satanic titles, honors, privileges, profits, employments, recognitions, remunerations, dividends, and property rights. I renounce fellowship with Lucifer. I renounce fellowship with Lucifer, Satan, genes, demigods, ghosts, and princes of darkness. I renounce fellowship with Lucifer. I renounce fellowship with Satan. I condemn every altar, high place, gate, dedicated and assigned to me by Satan and his agents. I condemn assemblies, decrees, and laws claiming my allegiance to Satan and his demons. I withdraw my representation in any satanic activity on the earth, in the heaven, under the earth, and under the water. I condemn every being, gene, ghost, mermaid, astral animals, totems, princes assigned to assist me by the devil. I plead the precious blood of Jesus Christ upon every part of my soul, spirit, and body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I claim the new covenant in the blood upon my past, present, and future. I give Christ Jesus full right over my affairs of my soul, my spirit, and my body. That is from delivered from deep darkness. Hallelujah. That's your confession. That's your confession. Do it and do it and do it. Pick it and do it. You tried. But listen, the foundation is holiness. The blessing is in repentance. The power is in repentance. Repent and turn to the Lord. Step by step, take back your soul. Now, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I come here right now to nullify that initiation. You know what I said. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I hereby nullify, declare that initiation null and void. In the name of Jesus, I declare it illegal, irregular, unacceptable. I command it to expire. I command the initiation, the contract, the agreement of that initiation to expire in the name of Jesus. I bring an end to the covenants, the beliefs of the initiation. I pull you out, out of the pit. I cut off the cord. I dismantle the cords I undo the notes and the codes and the secret words put upon your life. I dismantle them right now. I command every power holding your soul to be judged right now. God Almighty will judge, execute judgment against the priest, against the guide and the custodian of those initiations. 
I rebuke every agent of Satan who still holds you. I rebuke the demon, the power demon, the guiding demon, the monitoring demon, the seeing demon. I rebuke them right now. I rebuke the familiar spirit. And I release, oh my God, I release you boy from the chains of affliction. Be free. I command every word spoken on your life in the womb that was contrary to the will of God to be hereby dismissed. I bind the serpent, destroy the scorpion. I command a fire. Fire fall on you right now. Fire of the Holy Spirit. I remove spells of false prophets from your life. I cleanse you. Be cleansed. Be well. Be healed. Free in the name of Jesus. I deliver you from bipolar disorders. I release you from schizophrenia. I command the spirit of autism. Leave your child right now. Bind it and nullify its initiation from the father. Yes, I deliver your son from the covenant of his father. I deliver your children from their father's altar. I take authority over the father's altar and deliver the captives of those altars. The altars of the Eastern Lodge the altars of the Nyanza Lodge, the altars of the Nile Lodge, the altars of the Atatik Lodge, the altar, yes, I speak right now and release the captives, the captives of the pillars and the towers, the captives of the pyramids, the captives of water spirits, the captives of the altars and the thrones in the waters. Smite them, O Father God. I release you, my brother, my sister, watching right now. The fire of God comes upon you. The glory of the Lord shine on you. See the Lord. Call someone right now to join in this moment. Because I see miracles. I release the sword of the Lord against the evil initiations. The assembly of the wicked that bound you. Scatter it now. I scatter it right now. I scatter the assembly. The local covens. Satanic altars. I nullify rituals and vows. Consequences of the masons. Every degree in the name of Jesus. I stop the activity of bloodshed. I stop that which drink your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come up and out. Because the fire of God. Rade Kasia. Loji Karababakata. Holy fire. Holy fire. Holy fire. Holy fire. Somebody revoke. Paralyze. Revoke. Decrease on your family. Decrease against marriage. On your family. I release your marriage. I release you right now. I release you God. I deliver you from the pit, from the pit, from the pit, in the name of Jesus. Wage war. Arise right now. Come out of the pit. Come out of witchcraft. Come out of sorcery. Come out of divination. Come out of curses. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out of the grave. Come out of the grave. I nullify. I cancel the evil barriers that were done on your name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Son of the living God. Lire Kesia. Maradoshia. Broko Sharada. Rika dadaya, matara dea, zika tabro, rikesia, raka tabro, ridekata, madada dea, rideka shiria, roshada, le tarada, ridekata, masara doya, reo shikara, zara do kote, riko sharade, makatara dea, ridea. Come up and come out. 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 Joan, come up and come out. Come up and come out. Be healed. Be made perfect. I call every part of your soul, whatever is fragmented, to come out now. Come out. Come out. Come out. I locate your soul. I locate you as a baby. I locate you as a three-year-old. I locate you in the womb. I locate you as a teenager. And I command right now, are building together, a yoke together, a young together, a young together, a compatibility in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The light of the Lord shine upon you. I bless you and lift you with a blessing. In the name of Jesus. The fire of God. The glory of God. The goodness of God. The fire of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out of the pit. You are coming out of death. You are coming out of the pit. You are coming out of your father's house. Every retrogression. You are coming out right now. 
is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. The blood of Jesus. 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 Be filled. Be filled with the fire in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Keep praying. It's coming out of you. Wow. Wow. Friends, I'm telling you, liberty has come. Oh my God. Liberty has come. Liberty has come. In Jesus' name. Son of the living God. Give praise. Keep praising. In Jesus' name. We have to end here. One announcement. All the other announcement will be for tomorrow. If you're in Kampala, you in Uganda, please, I encourage you to join us tomorrow. The night prayer. If you're online, you're on TV, you can make it here. Be there. Invite as many as possible. Share, comment. Let me know where you're coming from. Like, call, because something's going to happen this Friday night. It's one of those nights I don't want anyone to miss. It's a special, unique night of deliverance. Pure deliverance this night. No games, no here and there. If there's anything that has remained there, we shall deal with it, we shall, we shall bombard it, and it lets you go. It's a pure deliverance. It's a final. Now and forever. Once and for all. It's a final deliverance night. And it may be the last night this year. The final deliverance night. Covenants. Altars that are bound in you. Evil curses or favor. All those will be gone. And, and I'm telling you. The glory of the Lord will be present. Our people, the intercessors, the prayer warriors, the worshipers are already preparing because it's going to be one of the unique night we have never seen. And then I'll tell you tomorrow and Sunday, the consecration week that we shall be having next week. The Lord bless you. As the Lord blesses you, so be a blessing. I ask you, in the mass of God, be a blessing to give an offering for what God is doing. Obey the Lord today or just obey. The number is on your screen and your blessing, your offering is a blessing to the ministry. Thank you for all that I've been giving and I know because you give, we can be online every day. Right now, go to your phone and release an offering to the ministry in the name of Jesus. Father God, I speak a blessing for those that are giving, those you've touched to give, I announce them blessed. I lift them in the blessing. In Jesus' name, shalom and amen. Have a good night. In Jesus' name. Thank you for being part of today's broadcast. I hope you have been blessed by today's message. If you want to watch this message again, Follow Apostle James Kawali Afraid on YouTube. You can like and you can subscribe. And if you would love to partner with our ministry, here are the giving lines. Airtel 0756-895569 and MTN number 0787-5494. 2 -fold. May God richly bless you for your generosity.